Hi, we are going to have uh, a session, a module, a first module about um, how to do a proper uh, Bible study with the, uh, the approach that I like to propose to you. Uh, probably uh, one of the best after so many decades of uh, different approaches around the world and you know, refine and fine tuning uh, by, by scholars, students of the Bible. And you know, um, this is the approach. I think this is simple. Uh, but maybe sometimes it look a little bit difficult because it takes a little bit of time to get used to it, right? So it's like, it's like a drill, you know, nobody will be able to drive a bicycle, uh, you know, if you don't, you know, you know, fail a few times or at least some few scratches in order to have a good, uh, you know, skill, right? So it's a skill, right? It's a toolbox. Uh, it's, not, it's not something, you know, uh, for, for the expert. I think, I, I believe everyone can learn, take a bit of time and then can do it. So first thing first. When you look at this, what do you see? <clears throat> Just tell me from your gut feeling, what do you see? Post-it notes. Post-it note, okay, good. <laughs> what, what can you guess here? All right. So behind, I, I, I cover some of the picture here. Uh, so behind the post-it note, I, after that, I will uh, peel it up, and then you'll see a big picture. So the idea is, what do you see here, just here? An ear. An ear, yeah. An ear okay. Post-it yes. A C, huh? Chili. Chili. All right. Okay. One more. Why guess? Just guess. Um, what do you see? Flowers. Flowers. Okay. A color red. A color red. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Okay. All right. So this is like one text sentences or paragraph you look in the Bible. You open the Bible, you see one line. Uh, especially those who, who, um, who, f- who uh, first introduced by like um, daily Bible verse and daily devotional, uh, the, the daily bread. One verse, very short. I mean, it's a good introduction. It's like, um, it's like the pen will give you a little bit of milk, a little kind of a soft puree and, you know, for you to digest a little bit. I mean, good start. But if you've been a Christian, I think, if more than a year, and you still kind of like to read that one line, uh, you'll never be able to grow because there's no solid food, right? And, uh, and the adult grow because solid food. You need to be able to eat certain things. And even when you come to a certain level, you need to be able to eat the fish, take the meat, and spit out the bone. Uh, the same with the rib. You can enjoy the rib with a sweet meat near the bone, but you throw the bone. It's the same with the book. So any book you read, including the best book, Christian book, you still have to eat the meat and spit out the bone because they're bone. Except one book. That is the Holy Bible. That is the scripture. That's God's sacred text. There will be no bones. What you see may not make you feel uncomfortable, but no bones. Okay, so if I peel out one more, what do you kind of guess here? The heart? What else? You see? Guess. Give a white guess. Garlic. Huh? Garlic. Okay. Chili. Garlic. All right. I know. Right. So. All right. One more. What do you see? It's a heart with an arrow. A heart and arrow. A heart and arrow. So begin to see and heart and arrow. Okay. Okay, so that's good. So if I remove a bit surrounding context of this particular text, in this particular paragraph, you will see a better picture. So one, one phrase for you, context is king. Context, context, context. Because a text without a context is a pretext. You know what pretext means? Uh, can be deceiving, can be um, uh, false, right? Pretext, right? It's false. It, it, one Bible verse can be whoo, so good, but can be falsely applied, uh, wrongly understood, because context is everything. Context, context. Okay? So now a, a heart with an arrow, kind of bleeding, right? So you can have a picture, all right? For a few more uh, contexts, okay? Uh, let me open this one. 
What do you see? All right, you guess. Okay, I've opened this one. Okay. What do you see? A G. A G. Okay. G O D. G O D. Okay, you can have a good guess. You know, sometimes we read the Bible, we can make quite a good guess. Um, and then, you know, uh, this one, G O D. Right. Now you can make G O D, but, you know, you don't know what behind G O D. Right. And so another layer of contact you will be able to see certain things. So what do you see? God save and heal. I mean, I want to cut broken heart, right? But then you read another larger contact expanded. That's just why sometimes you read the Bible and say you have a lot of questions. By the time you end the book, I hope, a lot of questions have already been answered. Why? Because Genesis to Revelation is the progressive revelation of God's word. So which means that every, uh, from the beginning to the end, it's like any book. There will be a beginning and there will be an end. And there will be middle parts, right? So whenever you read any book, you must know, is it Old Testament, New Testament, is it a letter? You some sort of you need to know the genre. So if you listen to music, uh, you know, I, I can walk into a place and they play jazz music. They say, wow, it doesn't sound right because, you know, I'm trained classical music. I don't want to listen to classical music. And so you need to understand the genre of the text as well, which is, you know, another module for that. But if I move one further, uh, you will see uh, other, other context. Got guys, correct, trained. Okay? It's just an illustration of contact is king. So whenever you read a verse that you like so much, and oftentimes, if they not, people are not trained uh, with the Bible study, oftentimes they take a beautiful verse out of context. A, te a beautiful text out of context is ugly sometimes and can be a pretext. So context, context, context. So the key here, when you have read a verse that you like, you read the surrounding context. Mean what happened before that verse, what happened after that word, what happened in the whole chapter of that book, what is surrounding chapter, and what is the surrounding chapter or chapter, meaning like, is it in the Old Testament? Is it in the New Testament? Is it in the prophetic book? Is it in the historical book? Is it in the letter to Paul? Or is it the gospel of Jesus Christ? So sometimes people think that, you know, focus on the gospel, that says everything. No, if that's everything, then God will stop at the gospel of John. <laughs> you know, the gospel is core, but it's not everything. Not everything meaning like the Bible does not stop at the gospel of John. There will be the standing of a church in the book of Acts that we carry on the apostle, and that's why, you know, the order of the church. That's why sometimes, you know, you know I love Jesus in, in the gospel, and I, I don't like the apostle Paul in the church. There's no such thing because it's a, it's a compact because it's progressive revelation. So, this module, context, contact, contact. All right, I will see you for the next module.